Hey guys, what's going on? It's Andrew from AR Media. Today, I just want to make a quick video with a little bit of an update on myself and just my pickups. Cause so, as you can tell, I haven't posted in about five days, and that's because I've been really sick. So sadly, I haven't really been able to post much, but I have been able to watch a bunch of movies. So I do just want to share with you the recent Scream Factory limited editions I picked up, the recent Arrow releases I picked up, as well as a few others. Let's get to it. All right, now first I'll go through the Scream Factory pickups. Now I picked up all these with the slip cover. Now that's super important to me with the Scream Factory is because the inside um, Blu-ray case has the reversible cover art with the original cover art. I'll show you for each one. So overall getting the slip is pretty important to me. So I'll just go through, I mean, this is not from this week necessarily. This is, you know, this is from the last couple of months, but uh, I'll just go over each film. Um, and basically just a little bit about each. So, first one is Child's Play. Now, this is a classic from when I was a kid. One of the first horror movies I really fell in love with. Chucky the Doll. And overall, the practical effects held up. You know, I watched it the other day. The restoration's beautiful. It actually looks like a pretty new movie. And overall, this is one of my favorites. Now, I'll just show you. So, inside, as you can see, with the reversible slip, is this is the, um original what was on the original blu-ray next i'm gonna go through john carpenter's the thing this is one of my favorite horror movies because you really don't know what to be scared of the whole time the atmosphere this has held up amazing this transfer is phenomenal and overall there really is nothing bad i could say about this movie definitely go out and pick up the scream factory i'll quickly show you the original um slip next up we got jeepers creepers 2 um this is also back when i was a teenager you know this was like one of the campy horror movies we would get and i remember having really fond memories of it went back and watched it the other day eh kind of holds up i think the first one's better but nevertheless still a good pickup and there's the original cover art underneath. Next we got, see this one is actually a blind buy for me, but I heard good things in the horror subreddit, was um, The Exorcist 3. Now, I don't think this should be called The Exorcist 3 at all. It should be called Legion, because this movie overall is an amazing thriller. This is by far my favorite Exorcist now. Has one of the best jump scares, I think, in history. Definitely worth the pickup. Cool cover art. Um, includes both cuts of the film. Really, really good buy. And here's the original. Next, we got The Burning. Now, this was also a blind buy for me. Picked this up on eBay. This actually stars Jason Alexander from Seinfeld. Overall, great, campy, cheesy slasher flick. It's basically a Friday the 13th ripoff, but I kind of think they did it better than Friday the 13th. But some may think differently. Here's the original cover. And last on the Scream Factory list is Manhunter. Now this I actually picked up because I found it at Best Buy. I got the price match it for really cheap. And this is really the original Hannibal Lecter, original Red Dragon film. And this is the first mention of Hannibal Lecter on film. And overall, a really, really great rep uh, representation of him. I think this movie is great. Very suspenseful. Uh, definitely a slow burn though. So, you know, it does take some patience, but overall very happy with the special edition. Really cool new cover. Not a huge fan of the uh, old cover. Now let me move on to my Arrow pickups. First, we got the Hills Have Eyes special edition. Now this thing really comes with a ton of stuff. Now this, come, this is just the box art, but it comes with a full-size poster. It comes with 30 page booklet, very nice. And then it comes with the reversible artwork as well. Really, really nice. Comes with a ton of art cards. You know, Arrow really always outdoes themselves. The Hills Have Eyes itself, I watched the movie the other um, night and the restoration is amazing. It looks fantastic. And of course, you know, I think the movie holds up a ton because um, you know, the practical effects used back then were really good, and the concept itself just holds up well. There's some concepts that don't. The Hills Have Eyes definitely does, and this Arrow is definitely the best way to watch it. Next up, we got Blood Rage. 
Now this, I got the three disc special edition. Now I've just been on a campy 80s horror binge. I'm not gonna lie, straight cheese fest. So I'm gonna give a little disclaimer on a lot of these Arrow releases. These are like kind of drunk movies. Like you have a couple beers and watch the movie. And that's what Blood Rage is. It's about twins and one commits murder and basically blames the other one. The other one goes to jail. But anyway, it's just a good, fun slasher flick. There's no other way to pick it up. When you actually put in the Blu-ray, the title screen still just is called Slasher because this never was released in theaters. It was banned back then. And overall, great film. Definitely pick it up if you get your hands on it. If not, just get the regular edition. Next up, we got The Mutilator, also special edition with The Slip. Mutilator's another one where, you know, Check a couple beers back because it's just a fun... It is actually my... This is my most fun slasher movie because you know everybody's going to get killed and overall it's this drunk dad who's coming back for the weekend and hunting kids down in a cabin. Really campy. Perfect vibe for an 80s horror movie. It's got the reversible slip with the original movie which is called Fall Break. Um, this was another one that really was not released... Um, originally because of the blood and the gore, which to, it's amazing nowadays when you see what released. And also, I forgot to show on Blood Rage the um, alternative slip as well. We got, I'm going to go through these quick. We got The Initiation. Now, this is an hour release. This is an 80s movie. Also campy, also pretty cheesy. But this one actually surprised me because it has a lot of twists in it, actually. And it's um, somewhat of a psychological thriller. Really enjoyable film. Really good cast. And really good restoration by Arrow. And last is Dark Water. Now this is actually a fairly recent film. I believe 2002. And this is a Japanese film with English subtitles. And overall this is, was fantastic. I've seen Dark Water, the American one. I've never seen the Japanese one. And overall this was definitely scarier. Eerier vibe. Really cool special features. Really, really cool artwork and definitely worth the pickup. Anyway, guys, I hope you liked some of my pickups this week. And I'm sorry I couldn't make more videos this week because of me being sick. But this week I got a ton scheduled, so keep looking forward to it. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. If you like this video at all, please give me a thumbs up and please subscribe down below for more content in the future. Have a good night, guys. Hit me with your